All right, what's up, guys? This is Green Warrior Two Nine One. I'm here with one of my friends, Mega Zero. You're welcome. He is going to have the Rigel uh, PNG, and he's been on the Mario Party videos, which he's he's won a good amount. I gotta give him that. Yeah, they they keep trying to betray me, but I'm Luigi, so. No, you're just busted. That's that's all. It's not even that. We keep fighting each other anyway, but. No, okay. We're not here at Mario Party. We're here of ReZero. And I am just happy that this season has finally come out, unironically, four years later. Which yeah, seemed... it didn't suffer the <laughs> same treatment that uh, that Devil is a Part-Timer has. And thankfully, without the less uh, drop of quality, that also uh, Devil is a Part-Timer had. <laughs> oh, man. I don't remember how many people were mad at that. I was annoyed, but I never felt like the story was bad. I think people were just quality's bad, story's bad. It's like not really. No, more more so people were more pissed at the uh ending of the light novel. <laughs> yeah. Oh no, there were book burnings, there were death threats, there was a lot of uh things going around for that. Yeah, I heard I I don't agree with it, because it didn't seem like that was a setup, but it is what it is. For ReZero, we have over here, we have our boy Subaru back. He is back for another round of, well, hell. And I like how it starts all peaceful, with obviously these things popping up. So we have, uh, we have Mimi, right? That, that has to be Mimi. Uh, yeah. yeah, we have her... We have, like, the one shot of Rem, which, uh, let me see if I can pull, there we go, I got it, yeah, the one shot of Rem, which, it must suck for Rem fans, because she's not gonna be a big participant at all in this season. Last yeah. season, she had, like, more of a slight importance, but this one, like, it is not related to her anymore. Yeah, she's not gonna be back for... Well, any light novel readers will know. <laughs> yeah, we, we know all too well. But, uh, like, all of this is clean. Like, it looks amazing. Joshua here, he doesn't look too chabby, honestly. Shabby, I mean. Amelia. And you, you already passed by Frederica and, and everybody else earlier. Yeah, it's like a frame. Oh, my gosh. That frame. There we go. Yeah. Roswell, which he's not playing a big part. I'm, I'm I'm just happy seeing Frederica again. That's that's like pretty cool. She and looks then, annoyed. <laughs> yeah, she looks annoyed. <laughs> then we have um the city of Pristella that looks beautiful. From the other trailer, this definitely still looks amazing. It looks like the capital just with water added in. Mm, looks like it's actually kind of based off of Italy a little bit. Yeah, I could, I could see that. I could definitely see that. And then we have, like, the group here arriving. I like that Garfield's gonna play a big role here. Oh, look. Sinister look of Anastasia. And then a happy look. With Julius coming back for the another round. Then, hmm. Kind of wonder how people are gonna react to Krush. Because I know we have, there's Krush fans. But that was like season one cruise, and this is season three cruise, which are entirely night different. Day. Night and day. So I'm kind of curious how that's gonna go. What do you think about Felt's like outfit change? Because I, I assume she would have gone one at some point. It, it it shows her admiration for Subaru. <laughs> Wait, how so? I got I gotta hear this. Well, if you noticed. Her outfit, at least the non jacket, the, the non vest part, is similar in design to Subaru's zip up jacket. Yeah, I, I, I can see that. And then we got our boy Reinhardt back. Al, which. Hmm. I wonder if there's anything in, the, in Arc 5 that sort of alludes to his secrets. Because we just want to know who the hell's underneath that damn helmet. Well, to be fair, we're probably going to find out by the end of this current arc in the light novel. Oh, 
Well, yeah, we're, we have to find out. So, uh, if you can see here, it's uh, a certain fun character that I had the privilege of editing for another channel. Her entire, like, web novel interlog inter monologue backstory. And I can't help but be annoyed at some point. Because you had to work so hard? Yeah, sort of. But it, it's just her backstory. It, it, she is... I wonder how people are going to react to her. That's the thing. Uh, I'll, I'll, I'm I'll. not going to say anything because I'm just kind of uh, more ambivalent towards uh, characters at this point in time. It's what happens later that really starts changing how you feel about people. Like right. In first, first introductions, you just get a hit or miss feel. I guess it's a better way of putting it. Yeah. Though I think, um, if I'm not mistaken, web novel. I'm a hundred percent sure she has like a bunch of chapters of uh being like the narrator, which people were almost feeling like they were having a bad nightmare. And then in the light novels, I think they toned that down to just be normal narrator. I think. I have to go well, back to the books and look. To, to be fair, she has the bard uh, motif, so... Yeah, that is true. Though, it's interesting these two getting along. Well, like I said, first introductions are always are different <laughs> between... Oh, man. Seeing him again is just hilarious. Because we, we all know that these two should be enemies, but yet Subaru is just pretty chill with him. Then again, compared to all the deaths Subaru's had, I think this one's just, his group kicking his ass and then killing him is minor compared to everything else he had to go through. Yep. Uh, but then we have, like, all of this. A lot of people I've seen in Twitter pointing out uh, this character over here. Uh, I believe he's one of the wizards for uh, Felt's camp. But he's in, uh, if I'm not mistaken, he's in a short story that takes place between arcs 2 and 3. Has to do with Subaru dressing up as Roswell and being mistaken as Roswell. Which I feel I mean, like... I mean, he can act the part, but the outfit would normally just give it away. True. Nah, here we go. Now, this caught me off guard like this little thing because from what i am aware of this is a web novel only <laughs> the light novel didn't have this and i am a hundred percent aware of this so when i saw this i'm like oh hmm so we're just gonna start mix mixing shit up well after what happened with uh season three of overlord um and the drastic shift between what happened to one of the characters in the light novel versus the web novel, I'm not surprised. Mm. I know I know what you're referring to. Yeah. I think. But Yeah. Yeah, it, it, it like I said, it, that I'm pretty sure the author was messing with people with what happened in, in that series. <laughs> but I'm also very certain that there's just also there's only so many things in the light novel that you can adapt to fit the runtime. So probably they had some extra time left over. So they probably adapted a couple of web novel things that would fit in the time slots. Look, I'm happy that Garfield's getting some kind of shine like this. Going up against Reinhardt is not really... Well, you can't really say anything. I think anyone who fights him will, will most is 100% going to lose. Unless <laughs> how fast it is. True. Then again, Reinhardt could just easily not take it seriously and allow you to last longer if he feels like it. But I was going to say, unless you're Satella, it, it's almost just a counter for each other. But yeah, Garfield getting a moment here. Well, one of multiple moments. Um, I'm trying to think what this scene entitles because it has to be during the beginning parts. I think when they're trying to get like Puck back, we know this scene. I think everyone who's read will know this scene's going to be the most hard-hitting. And it's at the very beginning of the arc, so that's also pretty fun. Now this. 
For those who don't remember her, she has relation to Garfield. And for good reason. And I'm not going to say anything. I think this is how, well, yeah, it's uh, Garfield Shock. And then we have our first look on uh, Sirius, the Sin Archbishop of Wrath. Which, they nailed the look. I gotta give it that. I mean, it's not a lot, but it still looks pretty intimidating. The action, I feel like the budget really went up for the action. I wouldn't say probably went up more so as it is they were just better well spent. Or, well, I guess at the very least they're showing us pretty cool, like, action scenes. Uh, getting, the, getting the Sakuga in early helps build hype and keep interest. Right. And then we have... Look, I love Wilhelm's fights. I think he has, like, one of the most interesting fighting styles. And he's a butler, too, so it's also fun when you have a butler fight. This was a pretty cool shot. Um, I think what I'm curious on, well, aside from this asshole, I, look, I don't, I don't think I'm going to have a lot of fun having to hear this idiot go off on another monologue thing again. No, no, hey, for the... Uh, voice actor. Voice actor does a phenomenal job, both uh, Japanese and English. I just despise the character with everything I have, especially Even, like half the fandom. I, I, I'll add this: writing him in a fan fiction is annoying, but having someone in the uh, reviews that decides to say the Regulus Cornelius is clone and just complimenting me felt like such a weird thing because I'm like, hmm, getting complimented by a character you hate. That feels so odd. I don't know. It was funny. I thought I could add that little funny thing. But yeah, watching him be back, it's going to be nice seeing his ass get whooped. Uh, gluttony number two. I think people are going to get mixed up because right here is Roy. Ray? No. Which one? I forgot what it was. It has to be Roy out. It has to be Roy. Unless it's... No, it has to be Roy. Because it's Lay and Roy. But, I don't know. Like the green eyes. Pretty sparkly. I guess. Uh, Sirius going nuts. You know. Look at... <laughs> he, I, he makes it look so effortless. I know. I, I have no words. Just playing it back for another moment. She does something cool, and with just a hand, he swipes. Just, and with no sword, just pure hand and glove. I'm surprised the glove didn't get destroyed by that, but... It's Reinhard. He has to look immaculate. Why did I have to pause it there? God damn it. Um, yeah, we have a uh, Subaru dealing with well, her, which we obviously know that's a problem. But I, <laughs> I do like he has a whip, which is his weapon. And it's funny because hers is like chain, whatever. Yeah, the chain and hook. And his red eyes. The thing with the red eyes, I believe that's just a visual thing for the anime to give people more or less, hey, uh, something's going on with Subaru. Because I know in the... Um, all right, we have him getting thrown off. Then she has, like, fire and ice. Which, having these two fight like that is what caught my attention. Because I'm like, isn't that really cool? Emilia using an ice sword. When the hell does she, like, ever use an ice sword? Oh, I'm right. Sorry, I'm to get up close and personal. <laughs> I do wanted to make a note because I also saw this. Look, look at the way the shape of the ear is. Mm -hmm. That's elfish ear. She has a purple eye or yeah, purple sky. Uh, whatever color that is, that looks, looks like gray. Every gray everything seems like it's confirming that it is something, but. We could go over that in the spoiler section, but yeah, uh, this is very highly sus now that we're getting a good in-depth on it. 
Oh, look. We have all the, the three weakest knights. Uh, well, strongest. These two are meh. I think Subaru can kick his ass. Uh, uh, Felix would just heal him to death. Oh, yeah, that's right. Hmm. Unless, unless Subaru has Beatrice, he's losing. So, yeah, he is the weakest knight. Oh, damn it. I wasn't trying to play that. Uh, yeah, we have, uh, the Sin Archbishop of Lust, finally, Capella. Which, funny enough, everyone's complaining that she got, uh, censored. And I'm like, I mean... There's a reason for that. <laughs> yeah. I mean, it's not, like, the biggest... It doesn't look, like, overly censored. Like, it's not like they put her with the whole shirt and everything. Like, they give her, like, a little bit of this and this. Like, there's not, like... I get what they're trying to go with, but I feel like they have to see the bigger picture. They got the, ratings to deal with. Though, then again, what kind of child will be watching ReZero? That's the question. Because ReZero's a psychological horror. Uh, There's plenty of kids that'll watch it. Kids in Japan are generally more emotionally mature than kids from other areas. Man, Japan is pretty based then. <laughs> but, alright. Yeah, we got Capella. I... The thing with Capella, what I'm excited for is what she's going to bring to the table. It almost feels like it's just pure anarchy at that point. Ah, regular so this stupid speech. Um, oh, another shot of Rem. Guess Rem is... Uh, they're tr really trying to milk enough Rem since they know they're not going to get enough uh, Rem fans to be happy about. This sword, I can't wait to see it in action. This is genuinely going to be the most fun season because i think the best way to put it without spoilers this is the shonen arc of sorts i am not gonna go any further on to that for spoiler reasons but it is the shonen arc mm, i'm questioning this shot is this lay this has to be lay he's not wearing green and his longer hair longer hair yeah because if, if uh I quickly backtrack. Let me see where he is, where his other twin is. Should be somewhere here because it's right before everything went to shit. Here we'll we'll just play the play the action all over again. Show off these cool animated moves. Dog, dog man. <laughs> then we have uh, there. Yeah, yeah. Because if you see, he has. It looks like he has long hair, but he doesn't cover his eye. And he has green attire, so... Yeah, for the most part, we can say that we have... Oh, shit, wait. I was gonna... Come on, come on. There we go. Oh, god damn it. There we go. I think that one is Roy. And then the other one that's about to appear right here is Lei. So, imagine that. You have... Oh, yeah, and then Sirius. You know, I actually am curious to know do you think that they're gonna censor this entire loop not censor 100 percent because you can't but do you know what i mean you think they're gonna censor like that whole thing like what they did with the rabbits mm, to a degree yeah probably we can we can discuss it once we get to the end like gold spoiler free mode all right everyone's uh yeah, that's a Yandere look. It, it, if the Yandere wasn't, like, even more murder ho than they already are. Now, this shot of these two is pretty cool. I'm trying to think. This shouldn't be spoiler, but what magic ability is, is that? Um, um, I'm pretty sure. Wasn't that her warp magic? That's what I was thinking. Because you can see, like, the little portal back there. And it's kind of what they showed in the opening to season, uh, at the season two opening two. Mm -hmm. Yeah, it feels or like OP it's... four, I guess, is a better way of putting it. Wait. No, yeah, you're right. OP opening four. ReZero season three, starting in October twenty twenty four. You want to know the what... <laughs> irony of the of starting in October? Yeah, I uh, overall this season's gonna be good. 
we can now move on to spoiler free. Uh, no spoiler. I mean, God damn it. Spoiler mode. Yeah, I, I'll let you dictate uh, the spoiler stuff, like names and stuff, and I'll just stick to commentary. <laughs> All right. For the spoiler section, I'll put a timestamp if you want to go to conclusions of our full thoughts into the how this season might play out. But let's go backtracking now with spoilers. So obviously over here is the whole mansion. I can guarantee this is like one to two episodes because not a lot of stuff happens aside from like the meeting with the Anastasia camp getting all the invitation to Pristella. Which I can't wait for the characters to react to like this city and maybe get a whole episode about like the city itself. Um, I can guarantee that it's majority of it is going to have to deal with this knucklehead over here. The oh, barter settle. Nice. Look, there's only one scene, I guess. It's with that, uh, where they're going into that shop to get that whole, uh, stuff situated for Puck. And then it's that guy who's like infatuated with her. And then it's like, I don't remember 100% how that scene plays, but he gets like super mad and I guess attacks like everyone. Gets all jealous, I guess. So, you know, that, that there's that. Garfield versus Reinhard. I want to bring in Greedif for a second. Greedif, these two, this Garfield was constantly training with Reinhard. With that Reinhardt saying that Garfield has the potential to reach him. Seeing these two battle almost makes me think of that. Like, Garfield's potential, I don't think we've seen just yet. And I... He has to, he has to let go of the anger issues. Mm. Yeah, though I think, I think having his uh, mother and half-sister get involved might genuinely... <laughs> might help. But then again, uh, yeah, no, I, I, I it, it, it's debatable because I mean we we've seen how he he's very trigger happy when it comes to his family and his temper, so it's fifty fifty on. We know it's going to develop him. I think it's just going to hurt for him because after all those years thinking this one thing for his mother to be alive kind of shatters everything I can only imagine what was what would be going through Federica's mind and yes I, I I'm the guy that's the Frederica and Rem simp <laughs> look it's it's really really hard to choose between all the gals because they each have something interesting. And I almost feel like if I say anything right now, I'm gonna get uh, clawed by each community. So no, you, 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 I, your, your love of Amelia is on your sleeve. So what? Don't even try. <laughs> Hold on. <laughs> okay, let's not, let's not, uh, let's not get into that. Uh, so serious, the Fortuna connection. I, I, I think that might have sealed the deal at that point. I think if the voice actress is the same, it's almost asking that, yeah, this is her. Just batshit crazy. Well, considering what happened. Well, yeah. And then, clearly, this character is what I'm more excited about. Look, I think, um, personally, for Arc 5, I think there are five things I want to emphasize. Garfield's big fight... Because it's supposed to show, like, his capabilities. Reinhardt's family situation. Because that goes, like, all over the fucking place. Subaru's speech. You know, the seasonal tradition of having that ultimate speech. Yep. That one is going to be the most epic protagonist speech. Maybe not of all time. But for me, it is for all time. Uh, well, it, it the Subaru speeches, I mean, he he always gets one, but it really just depends on where it is in the arc that shows how epic it is. The lighter it is, the better it'll be. Yeah, uh, agreed. Anything to do with 
the fight with Regulus. I think that entire cinematic, I, I am having my faith that Kadokawa, you assholes, can handle this. Wasn't it White Fox that did it, though? Or were they just the openings? Let's assume one of the two. Because I'm still mad about all the stupid copyright strikes that I got for season two. Um, but I think they have the potential to make that fight be one of the biggest. Because that, that genuinely is Subaru's big fight. Because out of all the Synarch bishops, literally Regulus could not kill him. And it is a lot hilarious when thinking about that. But that is, and then the very last thing is related to, hold on, pause. My brain kind of derped out for a second. It has to do with Amelia. And I want to see her actually do stuff outside of being like season one's kind of the, Excellent. yes. She was capable, like, at that near final loop of season one because she was able to beat Battle Geese, in a sense. But season two, she only became better after the first half was done. Because it yeah, finally gave her... One, I thought season one ended before the Battle Goose, and season two was the Battle Goose. No, season one was, like, divided into cores. The first core was 100% she was a damsel in distress. But the second core sort of was telling Subaru because that was arc three. And then season two was purely arc four, which I get it. Arc four was a very strong character driven arc, which is fine. I think people should give character driven arcs a chance. That's how your characters grow. But that, that's beyond the point. I can't wait for the reveal for this character. If those who don't catch on. When that gets revealed, it, it will break the internet. To a small degree. The well, at least the race world community. Yes. Pandora. <clears throat> will she make an appearance? Mm. Mm. I would say maybe at one loop just to fuck with everybody. <laughs> Like a uh, like a like a once per season kind of thing, just to screw with someone. Yeah, maybe. I, I I mean, we do not. We still don't know nothing about her. Even in the current arc, we have no clue about her or her crazy ass abilities. What I'm curious for sure that I guess it's not spoilery. It's the ability that Julius is doing here. I'm curious what he's doing. It's a wind based attack, but I wonder if that's like his ability. He probably... He probably has a minor wind spirit guiding the wind from his uh, thrust. Yeah, it probably is. I, I mean, I, I just love the visuals. It, it makes me think of um, Battle Goose's fight, like how those that don't see it, it almost looks somewhat like this. I don't know why. And then obviously, Will... Look, Wil, Wilhelm, his fights are always fun. I, I, I just can't help but... Out of all the characters who have the best fights... Wilhelm has, like, the most funnest. Especially when he was, like, easily dealing with Battle Goose. It, I find it funny. Because it's like, dude is not even seeing those hands. And he's still able to tell where they are at. So, that, that makes me kind of laugh a little. I mean, it's always a thing in, in anime to fear an old man that is very good at their job. <laughs> uh, oh, oh, it makes me think of Overlord, then, if we're going there. But... I, I, I just, I can't believe it. I just realized it right now with the blue hands who this is. It, did, it didn't cross my mind until right now when I just paused it and looked at it. And I'm like, blue hands? Oh, Garfield's development. But, yeah, Ricardo being back. I kind of want to see a little more of his fighting style. I'm kind of curious how he fights. Well, at least we know he's not going to suffer broken teeth. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> And then, look, I think when it comes down to the third and f only remaining, like, loop that Subaru will die, it'll finally show, because I know, I, I've had a lot of constant arguments with, like, friends wh who are aware of Reinhardt's op -ness, 
and say how come Reinhardt is never around when you need him. And it's like, he may be OP, but there's some abilities that he cannot 100% counter. Unless he's aware of it, though. But I can't wait to show that Subaru can't rely on Reinhardt. As much as he, he, he could, because Reinhardt is really powerful, There there's a big reason why he can't. I mean, even even the creator admitted that you know he kind of made Reinhardt a little too OP, but that was the whole point of his character. Yeah, uh, the thing with Reinhardt's character is he is super strong, and yet his whole family is just completely fucked, and he can't even do anything about it. So it's a lot more different than just I need to be the strongest. No, it's more of a family issue, and how broken he is because the dude is broken. It's just he doesn't show it. Which, I mean, kudos for him. And then, obviously, Subaru's death to her. Like, this arc is going to be a lot of horror stuff at the beginning. Up until that final loop, which is literally 50, if not 75% of the arc. And, I, we, and then... It's, the... you gotta You gotta give at least some screen time to the... To Subaru's suffering... Well, yeah, that is the point. I mean, the author said it. Subaru's chances of even surviving one arc without dying is, like, zero. He's not allowing that. Yeah. So, Do you have a bird in the background, by the way? Yeah, she, she's, uh, Lola just loves to randomly sc scree whenever she feels like it. I can't do anything about that. As much as I have the door closed, but anyway... Yeah, we have Amelia. I mean, everyone in the internet has just been more focused on two things, even though they should be focused on her action stuff, which is this is the coolest thing ever. Having her genuinely have I fighting mean, screen time. Yeah, the, the, the two main things, which they obviously censored a little bit in the Nike crossover. <laughs> they, I didn't even realize that. Yeah. Did they, they have they, to... They, they, they nerfed Amelia and they nerfed Rem. Oh god, just so that way their their characters don't get overshadowed. That is so lame. <laughs> oh well, it's still funny having Amelia cook. Still oh my god. That's funny within itself, but yeah, uh I can't wait for this fight. Fire and ice. Um I wonder if what arc this character Felix has. Cause I know it has to do with Cruz getting hurt, because that is the whole point of Capella, just getting Cruz to be injured, which causes Felix to kind of start slightly losing it. Because if you remember in the third trial of Amelia, there is a comment, I don't remember 100% what Felix said, but, oh, the soul, the soul won't uh, stay in, so someone's dying. Mm -hmm. So I do not know, I, I that might be in a failed loop, but... If not, then I almost think Cruz might have a red death flag on her. But... Uh, I mean, by the t we'll we'll see by the time. Uh, I would say we're on arc nine now, right? Ar call... We're in arc eight. Uh, the eight. author had to make an extra arc, so rather than eleven arcs, is now twelve. All right. Well, uh, arc nine probably. If anybody's going to start dying and or leaving, it'll probably be that arc. Yeah, and then we have uh, Capella, which, I mean, they did the look. I still don't know what the hell these stupid orbs are. Uh, I mean, it, you can see that they're in a butterfly motif, so... Yeah, I, I guess I shouldn't want to know, but it just bothers me, I guess. Oh, Either man. that or, or flower petals. Maybe. Seeing him angry always makes me smile. This asshole needs to be angry all the time. And die. But... You... you damn it, I shouldn't have said die. Um, uh, obviously, we have our crazy boy right here. I can't wait for... Alien yeah, uh, I don't know why they like that. But uh, I can't wait for Otto to face him. It'll be one of the coolest Otto moments. Considering that, yeah, like half the cast is sidelined in the next arc, so... <laughs> yeah, because of this arc... Seeing this sword... Seeing oh, no, it's not even just because of this arc. It's just because of how the next arc progresses. Speaking of, of that... Half of them are just useless. Yeah, fair enough. Uh, 
But I guess the big thing is Priscilla's sword. How do you think they're gonna? I think better question is, what do you recall her using the sword on? I know she used it to help Liliana with the whole uh, Saint Archbishop of Wrath situation, but if I'm not mistaken, it can destroy the soul itself. Yeah, I mean, you have swords that just deal with all kinds of shit, but you have to pay a price too, so... Hmm. I mean, that that's just how the swords go in Ray Zero. For every OP power, it has an equally uh, marginal cost. I think what I'm gonna like about this season, not to say Priscilla's like high up out of like my waifu list out of the top three is that she's gonna back up every single word that she's been saying because she's been talking like smack to everyone and i, I can't wait to sh have her literally show that she can back up her words well i mean to be fair the, the light novels also show how she's so lucky so yeah she has like I think that's why some people have found it funny if you ship Otto and Priscilla. The highest luck with the worst luck. But I wouldn't say even worse luck as it is just like zero charisma stat. <laughs> uh, poor Otto. But yeah, her crying. I, I, this scene I want to actually come back to now. Um, yeah, kids getting dropped. And that's where I'm kind of like... Hmm, how are they going to approach that? Because that's an important, like, first uh, death. Because it shows, like, that happens and then suddenly Subaru's, like, uh, kaput. And then suddenly back to the reset point. So I'm kind of curious. How much are they going to censor that? Uh, Probably, like, w once it's closest to the fall point... Probably it's going to censor that, or they're going to swap to Subaru's point of view. Hmm. Or they're going to make the ground all black, so that way you don't see it actually happening. Yeah, I, I presume they're going to have something like that. Though, what, what's crazy about this arc is Subaru only has 15 minutes, 15 minutes to deal with the situation. And I think that's like the biggest pressure... In terms of, like, coming back with almost no information at first. But, I mean, I'm just that's... just looking a... at the awkward way the mouth is animated right there. I did not see that. My gosh, that's right. <laughs> it's so awkward looking because of the bandages. Yeah. Like, it makes... It look like she has lips, but it's bandages. And the chin, even the chin, bandages. <laughs> oh my gosh, that is that is kind of wild. What the hell? My gosh, ReZero, you you've done it again. Um, oh my gosh, every everyone just loves the, this uh, face of uh, Capella and right the, here. And then she has her little uh, power button ear ear charms. Turn her on like a like a Microsoft PC. <laughs> Why is that funny for me? What the hell? Yeah. Or, oh my gosh. Yeah. I. I just don't. I don't get it. I don't get the people who choose her as their wife. Who like? I'm like my dude. dude. That, that's. Are you? A, are you a masochist? They have to be. I mean, not even that. You're asking for literal death. I mean, then again, I, I've said that Elsa would be like top five. So, I. I, I guess I somewhat understand, to a degree. Well, th this is one of those. People say the words, I can fix her, but you're not going to get very far. <laughs> yeah, you're right. <laughs> They're like, I can fix her. They're dead like half a minute later. Oh, yeah, this has to be the portal because when it, well, it, it shows them popping up from it. So, yeah, it's probably the portal. I mean, just gave it a, a bit more animation flourish. It, it it does look amazing. The animation, they, I mean, from this trailer alone, it, it looks spot on. But yeah, Emilia with her like ultimate sword or oh yeah, sword with a bunch of projectiles firing at whoever she's fighting, which is most likely serious. 
because of the attire she's wearing. But, yeah, I, I'm pretty much uh, happy with this. Because starts in uh, October. Well, let's see. White Fox, Katakawa is probably, like, the distributor. Um, official stuff. And then, obviously, they have, like... The light novels. I think this is, like, the short story stuff. And then the light novel. I just like it. Look right over here. She's fading away. She got Thanos snapped somehow. But... <laughs> <laughs> to to end off the discussion I didn't realize we were like hitting the timer really long I, I personally think for arc 5 specifically it's gonna be really good now my curiosity goes the poster it shows Shala which is another big simped character next to Rem how is she gonna come into play how is Arc 6 going to come into play? That is what this oh, trailer has left me with that question. I feel like she's probably just going to be like at the end kind of thing, kind of showing the preview into Arc 6. Probably like maybe she was seeing Arc 5 from whatever magic or whatever. Like she was just observing them the whole time. Maybe. Though if, if the rumors are true and we're getting four cores then I am almost crazy enough to think maybe we're getting a long season with arcs 5 and 6 that deserve, like, 25 episodes. Maybe not... I don't... I've never thought arc 5 needed 25 episodes. I've always thought it, ma maybe 15 at most. Yeah, arc, arc 6 went through... Or arc... Uh, yeah, arc 5 went... Uh, it's a lot longer than arc 6. Arc 6 is pretty fast. But that's also because two-thirds of the characters are sidelined. Fair enough. Um, I don't know. I, I honestly am kind of curious how they're going to... Wait, I thought Arc 6 was longer, though. It might feel that way, but it passes through pretty quickly. It's just because you're in, you're in one place going through just a couple of things. It just feels a lot longer than it actually is. Okay. Because, I mean, to, to be fair, a tower is a lot less to go through than an entire city. Yeah, you, you make a point. All right. I honestly think this season's going to be one hell of a banger. What do you think as an ending thought? I, I think it has a lot of potential. A lot of it just depends on if they learn from their successes on the previous seasons and they just don't drop the ball. Because the more seasons there are, the more expectations and the more chances there are to uh, drop something. I mean, we've seen it with One Punch Man. We s Overlord people are just kind of like, it it's starting to waver. And, uh, yeah. And also, to be fair, there's also that revolution of pay that's going on in the anime industry. So that's also going to affect quality and time. Right, right. Okay, then. Yeah, I, I think... Uh, so far, I have high hopes for this season. I kind of hope they do this season right. Now, end it by showing Amelia's purple food. You're not wrong. They sort of nerfed, though, too. Yeah, no, they, they did. They, they nerfed them. <laughs> They had then to. again, I, people will argue that it's the angle, but no, there's no denying what you saw in the trailer is definitely a lot bigger than what you see in Nike. Yeah, you're right. Uh, <laughs> I just love them all just confused as hell. What's this purple stuff? <laughs> uh, <laughs> oh, and I'm really just so happy. There's a bit of a problem in quantity. Oh man. Wait. Emma that's a little ironic. Emma who can't cook and then Amelia who just can't cook. I mean, here's the big question of the day. Would you accept Amelia's cooking? Uh Subaru can loop. We can't. That's right. <laughs> he would. Even if he if he didn't loop, he would take it. I think I, I want to just skim through this part. It's like... They're getting literal diabetes. 
And I thought of the ingredients is thought pouring purple fruit. What the hell is purple fruit? Grapes? No, that can't be right though. That's not well in fiction they're purple. I'm not I'm not a Nike player, so I mean my thing is fake in order. Yeah, I wouldn't, I wouldn't know. I'm just going to assume random purple fruit that's just, like, super sugary, I guess. And just immediately putting everything into it. It's like... Well, I, I like her Ingram Bliss. It is almost funny. To a degree. But yeah, there we go. This is, uh... She just believes that ingredients have nutrients in them. <laughs> yeah, I know. That is... It's so wholesome, but it's also... Without actually prepping them. Oh, God. <laughs> Sucks That's forever. Thing, like, yeah. Uh, they're, they're all going to suffer from tooth rotting and, and possible uh, diabetes from having a sugar overload. Yeah. Amelia, you, you probably shouldn't let... Uh, you should pr let Amelia cook. She would probably most likely be a reason why you, uh, you're uh, dead. But, I mean, what what's hilarious is that if you remember ending two, we see Amelia cooking her own stuff. Is that? Oh my god! I wanna I wanna put that. Hold on, because here she's brushing her teeth, and then I believe right here she's eating. Yeah, but she in that one I remember she's by herself. No one was making it for her. Right. So interesting how she can survive her own stuff. To be fair, most people can't taste their own cooking because they're so used to it. Huh. Yep. Uh, there you have it, folks. Amelia's cooking. Probably shouldn't grab it, or unless you're asking to be uh, dead by food. Which I guess that's a way to go out. Death well, by sweetness. <laughs> yeah. I think the that has a double standard, if anything. 